As Donald Trump likes to remind us, in fact, insists on reminding just about every interviewer, he leads in all the polls for the Republican presidential nomination right now. Yet at the same time, most political analysts think there's a ceiling to his support and that he can't raise it a lot higher, can't ultimately win the Republican nomination. What explains this disconnect between leading across the board now and severe doubts about how much higher and how much longer this can continue? I'm going to give you three numbers that help explain the disconnect. When we polled in Iowa and New Hampshire, we asked people whether they had a favorable or an unfavorable impression of candidates. And the number of people who reported an unfavorable impression of Donald Trump in Iowa is 42 percent, in New Hampshire 47 percent, the highest in either state, uh, in some cases by a wide margin. And then in our national poll we asked a slightly different question. We asked you have uh, somewhat or very negative or somewhat or very positive feelings about various people, including presidential candidates. 58 percent of the people we polled nationally said they had somewhat or very negative feelings about Donald Trump. 44 percent they said they had very negative feelings about Donald Trump. That's compared to just 25 percent who reported positive feelings. That's 33 points underwater, so to speak, 33 points more negative than positive. These are not good numbers for anybody who's running for public office, particularly when you consider that people generally like to vote for somebody they kind of like or at least have good feelings about when it comes to really voting for president. So that's the reason that people doubt that Donald Trump's stay at the top of the polls can continue. Could be wrong. This is a very odd year. But if Donald Trump defies that law of gravity, he will have really changed the laws of physics when it comes to politics.